what? Chip asked me why mirrors make reflections, and I was just seeing if I told him the right thing. Oh. Would you tell him? Yeah, but now he's got me to worry. In the mirror, I'm backwards. Of course. <laughs> you mean to tell me it's taken you 15 years to come to that conclusion? Well, sure, but if the mirror reverses me from left to right, how come it doesn't reverse me from top to bottom? <laughs> well, <it's> obvious. <laughs> Look, uh, just because Chip gets you involved in this sort of thing doesn't mean you have to involve me. Well, if I, if I don't, how am I going to know the answer when Chip asks me? How do you know he's going to ask you? Well, every time I teach him something, he doesn't know. Hey, look, will you get off my bed or at least take your shoes off? Every time I teach him something he doesn't know, he knows as much as I know. And then he asks me stuff that I don't know. Why don't you tell him you don't know? Are you kidding? That poor little dumb kid looks up to me. Right, what good's an older brother if he's just as ignorant as you are? Well, you can tell him you're going to find out. That's what I'm trying to do, Dad. Look, Robbie, there are other sources of information besides me, you know, like books. Gee, Dad, I don't have time to read. I'm too busy studying. Goodbye, Robbie. I have a little work to do here. Okay, but believe me, when I'm a father, I won't deny my kids a little cheap knowledge. Knowledge is never cheap, Robbie, which you will find out when you get in college. Or at least I will. Well, if it's so expensive, why don't you just get me started now? And by the time I get to college, look how much money I'll be saving you. Come on, now, Robbie, you don't want knowledge. You just like the idea of Chips thinking you're a hero. Hmm? All right, Dad. When Chip asks me about the mirrors, I'll just tell him that nobody around here knows the answer. Just like the boy who cried wolf. What's the kid who cried wolf got to do with this? Well, I keep asking you and asking you, and you won't tell me. Pretty soon you'll want to tell me something, and I won't be asking. Oh. Okay. Come on, you win. Now, uh, uh, what was the question? It's been so long since you asked. Well, if the mirror reverses me from left to right, how come it won't reverse me from top to bottom? Oh. Well, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the mirror doesn't always reverse everything. I just uh, happen to know a very clever little mysterious verse which uh, defies the power of the mirror. Sure, just made it. Now, come over here to the mirror. I'll right, read it. My oath, my vow, my motto to... My I motto to... My motto to... I aim twixt myth with... To outwit you. Twixt myth to outwit you. All right, now read it in the mirror. Gosh, it reads the same in the mirror. Yeah. Dad, how do you do things like that? Well, I'm sure by the time Chip gets around to asking that question, you'll have to figure it out. Are you kidding? I don't have to. I don't have to figure out anything with a father as smart as you are. Hey, now, wait a minute. <laughs> to say about me. Chip, knock it off, will you? Okay, I'm listening. There, that's what Robbie taught me. Ha, huh, call that play. My brother Hell could do that with his toes. So could Robbie, and he plays the trumpet, too. With his toes? Sure, Robbie can do anything. He can't either. He can, too. Cannot. Want to make a bet? Quiet. Yeah. How much? The secret word for today is quiet. Okay, so she said I was cute and handsome. Now, what else? He can't either. Can't do. He told what us else all did about you have to say? Didn't he? So what? My brother could have told us more. So what? And play the piano better, too. Robbie will show you, won't you, Robbie? Oh, uh, yeah, I was... <laughs> uh, reflections may be a little hard for you guys to understand, but I have a little verse here that's to understand. He can't but got... do it. He can do too, can't you, Robbie? Yeah, but you have to listen. Now, this verse won't reverse. Come on, Robbie, show See, what I mean he is can. when you put it frontwards and then it oh, yeah, like backwards. Fun. Like fun you guys yourself. listening to me? I yes. so Like I said before, you... Quiet! She said I was quiet. Oh, quite. Quite brilliant. Well, that's more like it. And then what? Now, how can I tell you about mirrors Can't when you, you guys are... Can't you explain after you play the piano for Sudsy? Yeah, but... Uh, piano? He's trying to get out of it. He is not. Yes, too. He's not. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to play any piano for Sudsy. See? Here 
I go to a lot of work for you and you're not even interested. See? You just don't ask me any more questions again, you hear? See? Okay, you win, Sudsy. I guess Harold is better than Robbie. I told you, I told you. Who's Harold? He used to play the piano real well, but I guess he forgot how to. He's afraid to tell you. He used to know how. He used to know how. He used to know how. I said I still know how to play the piano, but I'm not, I got better things to do than okay, okay, I'll play the piano. Oh boy, great! Come on, Robbie, let's go. Better he is. Better he is. Yeah. Better he is. Why would she like the way I laugh? <laughs> how much you want to bet? I'll bet all the money I got. Yeah. Let's all yell and make a lot of noise. Everybody else now and make a lot of noise. Whoopee! Ay, yay, yay! Now you get out of here. <laughs> Bob, Robbie's just gonna play the piano for us. Play it someplace else. Yeah. Come on, I'll warn you guys. Oh, come on. No. Look, get out. You heard what Bob said. Come on, don't get out of here. Come on, don't get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Come on, get You two, come on, you two. Don't sit there. What are you talking about, Bob? I'm talking about you guys. I was just sitting here playing the piano. Your father's trying to work. I'm going to work on this in the noise. Get out. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Those darn kids. All I want to do today is make noise. Things have changed since I was a kid. If I'd have made a noise like that, I'd have been tossed right out of the house. Conceited? What does she mean, conceited? Well, I don't think I'm much better than any other popular guy in school. I'll be down right in here. Mother, are you sure your mother lets people play? Why not? She plays it all the time. Yeah, go ahead, Robbie. Show them. Sure doesn't look much like our piano. Huh, great play. My brother Harold could do that with his nose. So could Robbie. Okay. Play something loud and fast. Okay, Chip. <laughs> But he hit it so hard he broke it. It's a pretty weak piano. My brother Hill never broke any keys. Well, that's because my brother's stronger than your brother. And my brother just knows enough not to break things. Well, my brother knows more than that. He knows how to fix things after he breaks them. Well, my brother can fix things even if someone else breaks them. So what? Prove it. Well, he's not here right now. That's just an excuse. Robbie can fix it, can't you, Robbie? 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 Huh, he's not here either. You call me, Robbie? Yeah. Oh, let's see, I've uh, marked these books for you that ought to uh, help up that uh, reflection problem. <laughs> Robbie, don't stand on the piano, or at least take your shoes off. Yeah. What are you doing anyway? Did you lose something down in there? No, uh, not exactly in here, Dad. Well, then what are you doing? I'm just trying to find out how this thing works, Dad. Robbie. One thing you must learn is to solve one problem at a time and then go on to the next one. Now, with these books and uh, the encyclopedia here, let's see, uh, Naval Reserve to Orleans. Yes, optical will be in there. <laughs> Robbie. Yeah? Uh, did you lose something, Dad? Yes, you. Now, about this reflection business, sit down, Rob. But, well, gee, Dad, I promised Chip that I'd now, find wait a out how. Wait a minute. You see? Trying to be a hero to Chip. Pretending you know something when you really don't can get you into trouble. Now, I've helped you find the answers this time, but the next time you're on your own. Dad, uh, Chip and Suds, you The next time you me. have a problem, Rob, remember what every true scientist knows. That to get the right answer, you must uh, ask the right questions. And you can't possibly ask the right questions unless you do a lot of studying. You must know the problem from the inside out. That's what I'm trying to do, Dad. Now, here, you take these books and go up to your room or someplace where it's quiet and do some studying. 
Uh, being a hero takes a lot of work, you know. But, Dad, all these... Come on, run along, Rob. I've spent half the afternoon on this reflection thing. All right, but I don't see how knowing about mirrors is going to help me ask the right questions about a piano. <laughs> Back to work. See, I told you Robbie would fix up this old piano. Yeah, but is he fixing it up or is he fixing it down? <laughs> or tearing it down? Or tearing it up? <clears throat> Let's just flap right over and flap right back, see? Pretty neat, huh? Yep. <laughs> now. See, boy, nothing to it if you know how. Boys, uh, nothing to it. Just gotta know your pianos, that's all. The only way to understand a problem is to study it from the inside out. You sure got the insides out now. <laughs> Hey, Chip, go get those books on the table over there for me, will you? Boy, if my mother came home right now, she'd faint. Photography, review, photosynthesis, phenology. History of an animal or a plant species. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if he doesn't fix it by the time my mother gets home, she may never let me play with you again. She will too. Well, nah, she will too. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? She'll never let you play with Chip again, and she's gonna spank you. And then when she tells my dad what happened, I'm gonna get... Dad. Uh, hey, hey Chip and Sudsy, why don't you go out to the garage and, and bring me some more tools, huh? Huh. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I just showed you. You run into a problem and you don't know the answer? Look it up. I'll get the phone, Bob. Okay, I'll get the back door. Hello. Hello, Dad. Uh, remember what you said when we were talking today about how a scientist has to be able to analyze things from the inside out to be able to ask the right questions? Yes, Robbie, what is it now? Well, I did what you said. I've been studying the problem and I really got to the bottom of it. Good. <laughs> I goes to show you, those books really helped, didn't they? Uh, 
Yeah, Dad. In fact, I'm using them right now. Uh, but I need to ask a couple questions. Oh, now look, Rob, I told you the next time you ran into a problem, you were going to have to... Well, uh, I'll uh, help you once more. It was the most marvelous recital I've ever attended. Mm. I just can't wait to get home and try some of the numbers on my own piano. Mm -hmm. I hope Huey, I mean Sudsy, hasn't been too much trouble. No trouble at all, Mrs. Pfeiffer. I haven't even seen him in the last couple of hours. Oh, dear, you haven't seen him. I hope... Now, now, don't worry, don't worry. They're with Robbie, and he won't let him get in trouble. Oh, I'll just trot on, then. When you see Sudsy, send him home. I'll do it. I'll... Well, uh, Rob, you're talking about the action. Now, you see, when you press down on the key, uh, the hammer is actuated by a lever called the hopper or jack. It, uh, it has a little spring on it. A little spring on it? Yeah. Gosh, Dad, you describe things so well, I can almost see it. That's just a little engineering problem, Rob. Uh, you might like to know, Rob, that the uh, first upright piano, like we have in the living room here, was invented by a man named John Isaac Hawkins as he lived in Philadelphia and uh, invented the piano about the year 1800. And he was also an engineer. <laughs> isn't that interesting? I mean, uh, isn't that interesting? Boy, is there anything you don't know? If you're talking to Robbie, tell him Mrs. Pfeiffer's on her way home and wants Sudsy. You're a genius. <laughs> oh, Rob, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. It's, uh, well, it's just something I happen to uh, read someplace. <laughs> OK, Dad. Oh, Rob, uh, tell Sudsy his mother's coming home and she wants him for something, will you? I may have to call you again if I run into trouble, because on our way home. Bye, Dad. Mother? Piper? She just left our house on the way home. There's no time to put it back together. How much time do you need? I don't know. Six minutes. Five minutes. Give me four minutes. Not even my brother could do that. Jeepers, if you can put it together in four minutes, you really are a genius. I don't even have one minute. Here she comes now. Maybe we can stop her. Yeah. How? I don't know. <laughs> I must pick up my groceries and go into the house to cook dinner. <laughs> What have you two been up to? Nothing much. We've just been studying how mirrors work. Just like your brother Harold. <laughs> Did you find out how they work? Hardly. Only we don't understand why they turn things backwards. Backwards? In a mirror, left is right, and right is left. It is? <laughs> Well, uh, that's perfectly simple to explain. Of course, in a mirror, everything's backwards. That's just the way things are, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And how come the mirror won't turn this first backwards? My motto, too, I aim twixt myth to outwit you. <laughs> oh, no. You won't outwit me that easily. No. Well, uh, oh, dear me. <laughs> Heavens, it even reads the same from the back side of the paper. That's just the way my brother Robbie writes things. Just like Harold. <laughs> I'm just dying to try out some new numbers. Hey, wait, Miss Piper. I'm having time to play capture. Look out, the Robbie! Here she comes. I have to cook dinner. Mom, I want to oh. show you something. Robbie! Sorry, Robbie. You really are a genius. Well, you must be to write verses like this. You better explain it to the boys, because I can't. I don't think I have time, Miss Pfeiffer. Wait a second, Robbie. I want you to do something. Good heavens. Uh, 
Chip and I better get on home now, Miss Pfeiffer. How in the world did that happen? What happened? This morning, that note was completely dead. I thought I was going to have a big repair bill. Now it's as good as new. Got well all by itself. All that work and I didn't even break it. Well, you sure fixed it. Oh? He had that old piano all over this room. Just to fix one little key. Why, Robbie, you really are a genius. <laughs> well, uh, it's just that when I find something that's broken, I kind of get kind of nervous-like until I find out what's wrong. Oh, wonderful, Harold. Oh, Robbie, uh, why don't you sit down for a few minutes? I have some ice cream and cake in the kitchen. Hey, thanks a lot, Miss Bashford. This clock hasn't run in months. I don't want to take advantage of you, but would you mind looking at it, Robbie? And if you really enjoy fixing things, the TV needs attention. I really don't and the much garbage about TV disposal either. is making a terrible noise for some reason. I don't even think we have a garbage disposal. And I disposal. just have to have someone tune up my dryer. Your dryer? And then let's <laughs> Mrs. Pfeiffer, wait. Please. You have to know the truth. It's my father who's the genius. Oh, come on now, Robbie. I mean, he's the one who wrote the verse. And he's the one who told me how to fix the piano. But you fixed it. Yeah, but he knows all about the history of piano and stuff like that, and he can rattle it right off like he's reading it from a book. In fact, there's nothing you can ask him that he, that he can't answer. Excuse me, In fact, Robbie. he can even... Here! Hey, what? Larson 06719, is that your number? Well, yes, ma'am, but I... What am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Hey, Chip, will you tell him? Well, that's exactly what I told Pastor Lundquist, poor man. The church has had so many added expenses this year. The new rugs for the Sunday school department. The roof in the sanctuary leaks like a sieve. And now the pipe organ. It sounds like it might be a pretty expensive proposition. They'll probably have to dismantle the whole organ. Well, I assured the poor soul that help would come from somewhere. Well, when you put it that way, well, I, I'd hardly say I was a genius, Mrs. Oh, come now, Mr. Douglas, you're just being modest. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. It might just be some little thing. Uh. That's exactly what I told Pastor Lundquist, poor man. Well, all right, then. I'll, uh, I'll see you there at 6 o'clock. Fine. No, it's no imposition at all. It's a pleasure. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Well. Hello, Mrs. Lundquist. Is the pastor there? Yes. Yes, I will. Look, if your brother Harold's so great, why hasn't he fixed all this stuff? Harold? How can he when he's at MIT? MIT? Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He was Phi Beta Kappa when he was 19. Here we are. Organs pipe. Large organs around 1910. Here. Had up to 15 thousand pipes and nearly 200 stops. Well, I think I have just the man for you. He'll solve all your problems with the organ. He knows everything about music. He knows the history of piano. He knows how to fix all kinds of instruments. 1,250... 32,850. <laughs> Bob, do you have uh, Mrs. Pfeiffer's telephone number?